First, I would like to say that they lied to you. Who is they? We're talking about the critics, the media, and those that really didn't do their homework on these quarterbacks that just kind of went along to get along with everything that the media was saying about these quarterbacks, trashed these guys, and said that this class was probably the weakest quarterback class ever. Now, I know that this is only a small sample size. We haven't truly really seen their body of work yet. But in one preseason game, these guys were able to flash their abilities, their talents, and to show, hey, I can play in the NFL. You guys didn't think that I could play. You guys wrote us off. But I want to tell you that you can't always believe everything that comes out of the media's mouth. You have to have the eye test yourself. You got to do the homework yourself. You have to be able to really, really get an understanding of what you're looking at. There was a lot of knock on all these quarterbacks. Malik Willis came from a small school, came from Liberty. Really, uh, he really didn't play any competition, but he did play some power five schools. If you did not know that Malik Willis did play some power five schools. You know, it was just so many different scenarios that painted a bad picture on these quarterbacks. And I and if these guys get the opportunity to start one day, I think they're going to prove a lot of people wrong. Yeah, it's only a small sample size. It's only one preseason game. Can they do it again? I think that these guys can do it again. I think that they have the talent to be able to prove a lot of people wrong. And uh, definitely, man, I'm going to be rooting for all of these guys, man, because this quarterback class was definitely ranked one of the worst quarterback classes taken in a very very long time and I know that all of these guys you know what I'm saying I saw the pain in Malik Willis eyes from all the teams passing him up and finally getting his number call with the Tennessee Titans I saw Sam Howell who I thought should have been probably one of the uh one of the first quarterbacks taken off the board too as well didn't go into the fifth round now, Kenny Pickett was the only quarterback out of all these guys that was taken in the, in the first round. I think Desmond Ritter might have been taken in the, the second or the third or something like that. But you get what I'm saying. Skylar Thompson, who was down there balling in Miami, you may not know who this quarterback is, but you if you go into my archives and you look at the video that I did on Skylar Thompson, you'll understand why I said that this kid had talent. Skylar Thompson was drafted in the seventh round. Hear me again, people. Skylar Thompson, quarterback, Kansas State, who a lot of people didn't know anything about this kid. He played in a pro style offense with the Kansas State Wildcats. I liked everything about his game, man. I knew that he wasn't a, a perfect quarterback, but I love this kid's ability. His mobility in the pocket, his escapability, his decision making, and the fact that he has gotten a lot of experience in college. I love that about Skylar Thompson. And there's a lot of knock that people were saying about Sam Howell and Desmond Ritter. I mean, these guys were pretty much written off by a lot of people. And the reason why I wanted to do this video on today is just to explain to people that you can't always believe everything that you hear. You have to take your time out and do the homework yourself. Stop believing everything that the media says to you and feeds you. Because sometimes it ain't true. You, Like I said, people don't really know how good these quarterbacks are going to be until they play. They haven't had an opportunity to play in the NFL yet. And this is only their first game, so I know it's not it's not a lot. But what they flashed 
in their preseason game is probably something that you'll probably see in the future if they get the opportunity to ever start. So, man, I loved everything that I saw out of these guys, and I want to talk about their stats as follows. Desmond Ritter, who played against my Detroit Lions, Desmond Ritter was 10 out of 22 for 103 yards passing with two touchdowns, and he rushed the ball six times and had 59 yards on the ground. And that's the most out of all the dual threat quarterbacks that came into the uh, into the league this season. Sam Howell was box office with the commanders, pretty much commanding their offense and playing brilliant for those guys. Sam Howell was 9 out of 16 for 145 yards. He didn't throw a touchdown pass. He rushed the ball three times and had 19 yards, but he had two touchdowns on the ground Malik Willis who had a lot of things said about him that was really really negative about this guy and said that he really needs a longer time he flashed the ability to be able to show people that he can play in this league Malik Willis was 6 out of 11 for 107 yards he didn't he did not throw a touchdown pass he threw a nice bomb in that game down the field but he did not throw a touchdown pass in a game. He had uh, five rushing attempts for 38 yards and one touchdown on the ground, showing the ability that he can get it done in the NFL. Skylar Thompson, who a lot of you guys didn't probably know anything about this kid, and I wanted the Lions to take this guy. I'm not going to even kid you. I wanted them to take him in the later rounds. Because I knew that this guy had the talent. And Miami, what I can say about Miami is if Tua messes up, you got a guy that's more than capable of getting the job done. So definitely, man, Tua is going to have to have his best season because he's going to be looking over his shoulder. This kid played phenomenal, man. And they won the football game against the Bucks. Skylar Thompson was 20 out of 28. For 219 yards passing. One touchdown pass that he threw in the game. He rushed the ball three times and had 25 yards. Kenny Pickett, who pretty much everybody said was the cream of the crop of the quarterbacks uh, in this draft because of the experience and because what Kenny uh, Pickett did in the uh, in the season in the college football with Pittsburgh. Pickett was 13 out of 15 showing that pinpoint accuracy. He may be the quarterback with the smallest hands, but Kenny Pickett can play. Kenny Pickett was electrifying for that that Pittsburgh Steelers offense. He had two touchdown passes as well and led the charge on a game-winning TD drive. So I'm painting you a picture that's something a little bit different from what the media is portraying these guys because people dogged all of these quarterbacks out. A lot of people said that this is the worst quarterback class I've ever seen in my life. And I hope that these guys prove everybody, all the naysayers, that was talking junk about these and talking crap about these quarterbacks and didn't give these guys the benefit of the doubt. They didn't give these guys the opportunity to show their stuff and what they can do in the NFL. And they had already marked these guys as the worst quarterbacks ever. All of these guys are playing well. It's only the first game. I know, I know, I know. It's only the first game. But I can't wait to see the rest of the preseason. Because most of these guys are not going to start. They're going to be on the bench. And they're going to be waiting their opportunity to be able to eventually hear their name called one day and on one Sunday. But you can't always believe everything that you hear from the media. Do the homework yourself. Spend the time burning the midnight oil yourself. Don't believe everything that is written. 
about players because you don't know. Before you put your mouth on somebody, do your homework. Do the research. Do the investigating. Whatever you got to do to find out about that player. Give that guy the benefit of the doubt because you don't know what he's going to do when he gets into the NFL. You don't know who's going to be a superstar in the NFL. Nobody knew that uh, Skylar Thompson was going to be balling in Miami like he is. The dude has not thrown an interception in training camp. These quarterbacks have been phenomenal, man. I can't believe what they're doing. So shout out to Kenny Pickett. Shout out to Skylar Thompson. Shout out to Malik Willis. Shout out to Sam Howell and Desmond Ritter. All of those guys right now, have, currently, I haven't seen Carson Strong yet. So still waiting on to be able to see what Carson Strong could do as well. But a lot of the quarterbacks, man, was pretty much written off, man. Nobody believed that these guys had the ability to get it done in the NFL. This was known as the weakest quarterback class ever. And these guys are out there proving a lot of people wrong. Like I said, it's only a small sample size, but I love everything that I'm seeing from all of these guys trying to give it 110 to show that they belong in the NFL. Make sure you guys subscribe to Raw Detroit for more content like this. And definitely, guys, I appreciate each and every one of you subscribing to the channel. I'm out of here. Peace.